Let's work more with dividing decimals by whole numbers. Here I have the problem. 7 tenths divided by 2. I'll set it up using a place value chart and then also showing standard algorithm. Again, that's 7 tenths, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 tenths. If I go ahead and divide 7 tenths into two groups, draw some more two groups here, we got 7 tenths divided by two groups. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, the seventh one I can't quite put anywhere. So, because we'll go ahead and regroup one of those tenths to hundredths. One tenth regroups to ten hundredths. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And ten hundredths divided by two is five in each group. Five. So, according to my place value chart then, seven tenths divided by two is three tenths, five hundredths, or we have 0 0.35. As we can see here with the standard algorithm, seven tenths, two goes into seven, three whole times, three times two is six, seven minus six is one. I'll add a zero there to go ahead and bring down a zero, and 10 divided by two is five, and I'm dividing by a whole number, so that decimal point can come straight up. Here I have another place value chart where it is that I have the problem 5 and 7 tenths divided by 4. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and model 5 and 7 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And I am dividing by 4. So let me go ahead and make four groups here. One, two, three, and four. I'll go ahead and start in the ones place. We have five there divided by four. So we can fit one within each group. One of these we will regroup to the tenths place, making ten of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Giving me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it looks like there's 10 there, 17 total there. 17 divided by 4. I think I get 4 within each of those groups with 1 remaining. So with the 1 remaining, I can go ahead and take that 1 remaining and regroup it to the hundredths. 1 tenth does equal 10 hundredths. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And again, I'm taking that... My divisor is 4, so I'll take 10 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then take two of these and put them into the thousandths. And two of them is worth two sets of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Of course, in that fourth group as well, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's take a look at one of these. That's my answer. 1, 4, 2, 5. Or I have that answer as 1.425. I can look at my standard algorithm just to check my work. 4 goes into 5 one whole time because 1 times 4 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down the 7. 17 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 17 minus 16 is 1. Add a 0 to drop a 0. 10 divided by 4 is 2 because 2 times 4 is 8 and 10 minus 8 is 2. Add a 0 to drop a 0. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. And I was um, dividing by a whole number, so the decimal point can come straight up there, so that I have that same number of decimal places inside of my quotient as I did within my dividend.
or 5 and 7 tenths divided by 4 equaling 1.425 or 1 and 425 thousandths, just like my place value chart showed me. Your turn. We have 9 and 3 tenths, and we are dividing it by 5. Set up a place value chart and solve it, and then also use the standard algorithm to work out your problem. And remember, we are dividing into 5 groups there. Did you model 9 and 3 tenths first? In modeling 9 and 3 tenths, we have 9 and 3 tenths divided by 5, so we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we actually have 4 of these that we need to regroup to the tenths place with 40 of them. Which, just do it like this. I'm not sure if you drew in 40 of them, but I will do it that way. So I have 43 divided by 5, and 40 divided by 5 is 8, so there are 8 tenths in there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Take these three, the regroup over to the hundreds, and again, now this is 30 hundreds. Get to draw out 30 of them, divide it by 5, you actually get 6 in there. 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, giving us our answer as 1 point, let's see, that's um, 8 it looks like, and 1.86, or 1 in 86 hundredths. Standard algorithm, 5 minus 9 is 4. Bring down the 3. 43 divided by 5 is 8, because 8 times 5 is 40. 43 minus 40 is 3. Add a 0 to drop a 0. 30 divided by 5 is 6, and decimal point can come straight up. That same answer that we had before. Here's one more for you. We'll set up a place value chart where it is that we will have ones, tenths, hundredths, and then also thousandths to be able to divide this, and we are dividing it by two or into two groups. Set up your place value chart, use that standard algorithm to check. We, of course, model our dividend first, so we have seven ones. No tenths, five hundredths, one, two, three, four, and five. And we'll take the ones divided by two first, so we get three within each of those groups with a remainder of one, which we can go ahead and regroup to the tenths place. One, one equaling ten tenths, and ten tenths divided by two is five within each of those groups. And for the hundredths, we have 5 there, divided by 2, also. And so we get 2, with a regroup of 1, over to the thousandths place, where we also would have 10, from the 100th equaling 10 thousandths. 10 divided by 2 is 5, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, so ideally, you got 3.525 as your answer. 2 goes into 7 3 whole times. 3 times 2 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down the 0. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 10 minus 10 is 0. Bring down the 5. 5 divided by 2 is 2 because 2 times 2 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Add a 0. Drop a 0. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 10 minus 10 is 0, and our decimal point placed. Check your work. You can divide a whole number by a whole number and still get a decimal for your answer. Here we have 6 divided by 4. Make sure to set it up correctly. We have 4 as the divisor. 
and then so it's written like that there so that we can solve it within simplest form. I see it very often that students will set this up incorrectly, and in setting it up incorrectly, of course, you will get a different answer. There's the standard algorithm approach, and here is a place value approach where we have 6 divided by 4. So we have a 1's place, we have the 10's place, and let's see, so we have 6 in the 1's place, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and we're dividing it into 4 parts, or 4 groups. 6 divided by 4, we get 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then I will regroup 2 of these then to the 10's place, so that we have 20 of them in there. And we're dividing it by 4, which gives us 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So our answer there is 1 point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1.5, just like my standard algorithm showed as well. Your turn. Set this up and solve it. Give you a little bit of help. Set up the standard algorithm for you. We have 9 divided by 5. And of course, use a place value chart as well. There, I've modeled the 9, and I'm going to go ahead and make some lines so that I can get 5 groups in here. We have 9 divided by 5, so you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'd have to regroup 4 of them to the tenths place. 40 of them there. And 40 divided by 5 is 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's actually 5, 6, 7, and 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I did the same in the other groups as well. The answer being 1.8. Standard algorithm, 5 goes into 9 one whole time. 1 times 5 is 5. 9 minus 5 is 4. Add a 0. 2 drop is 0. 40 divided by 5 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 minus 40 is 0. And decimal point can come straight up. Here I have one last problem for you, 7.5 divided by 4, show a standard algorithm first, 4 goes into 7 one whole time, 7 minus 4 is 3, bring down the 5, 35 divided by 4 is 8, because 8 times 4 is 32, 35 minus 32 is 3, I add a 0, and drop a 0, 30 divided by 4 is 7, because 7 times 4 is 28, and 30 minus 28 is 2, add a 0, drop a 0. 20 divided by 4 is 5, 5 times 4 is 20, and 20 minus 20 is 0. Standard algorithm shows me that the answer should be 1.875. It would also help me set up a place value chart, me knowing now that I'm going to have to have thousands as well. I'll model the 7.5 first, or 7 and 5 tenths first. And then I also will have four groups to divide it into. There we go. There's my labeling for that place value chart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five tenths. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Seven divided by four. Oops, only one in each. And then I take three of them then, which I was not able to divide by that four, and regroup it to the tenths. It's going to be 30 of them. So we have 30 of them plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have 35 divided by 4, which is 8. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's see. That was 32, which left me with three of them I have to regroup to the hundreds place. I'm going to go ahead and, so doing that there, sorry. 
I'm going to go ahead and call it 30 like this here. be easier for me. That way I don't have to try to draw 30 of them in there. 30 divided by 4 is 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that leaves me with two of them that I have to regroup over to the thousands place. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, divided by 4 is 5. 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, if you're still with me, that is 1.875 with that place value chart. And then so we have those different approaches to be able to solve these problems.